This week's video, we're going to focus in on a couple of different techniques for doing bulkheads. Uh, one of them involves a laser, which you may or may not have. I highly recommend getting one if you're doing a basement renovation. 150 bucks goes a long way to making things look perfect. The other technique is just a little bit of common sense. I'm going to show you how to use uh, just leveling. Okay, so over here by the door, we're going to have a bulkhead. We've got to cover up some steel. All right. Now, this is kind of cool because you can go out and buy a piece of lumber that basically fits inside the hole. Now, it doesn't fit perfect. It'll have the tendency of falling on your head. But what you can do is you can wedge it in. So, above the door over here, this 2x4 represents the, the bottom part of our bulkhead. It is sitting at the same height as this steel is off the floor. Okay? So, what I wanted to do is if I hang drywall from here to over the bulkhead, it's too big a space. I need to have another piece of wood coming down the middle. Now you can buy a two, 12 foot two by four if you like, um, but generally in my experience, 12 foot two by fours are never straight and we're only going to be supporting it in the middle. So what we're gonna do, we're going to stick our two by four on top of here. Now here's the idea, bringing up the speed. I want to have this 2x4 wedged in all the way across, level on each side so that when I put my 2x4 from the outside edges, I just stick them up in the middle like a sandwich. This is actually quite simple to do. And we're going to just throw in a screw up here. Okay, so here's my leveling system. It's a 2x4. Shh, don't tell, it's not a level. What I can do is I just tap this up till my two by four is flush with my metal. So now I'm sitting at the same height on both sides. And I'm gonna put my mark there. Now this system you can do on your own. We're gonna just put a screw in. It may or may not move around when you do this. So now you just give it a little bit of a tap till it's beneath your mark. Set your screw. Now we're going to just tighten the screw and the head on an angle is going to lift the board up until the mark shows like it was before. Perfect. <laughs> really need a new drill. Yeah, All right. Now I built both sides of this little area here exactly the same. So they both have a two by four flush up against the beam that's level and square. So now I can add my extra support for my drywall. And before I put that in, I added the screws, right? If you're working alone, sometimes pre-doing the screw is you know, it's your second pair of hands. So now we're just gonna get this up, eyeball the middle, put the screw where I need to, and drive it home. Here we go, we left it up, level square and flush, and tie them together. Now we're just gonna throw a couple more screws in here for good measure. One of the cool features here is if it's not all level and square, when you lift these up tight together, they won't be flush. They'll scissor. So that's another way that you can tell if your stuff is being built straight. So now we just want to anchor this down. We don't want it floating. Because I knew there's a two by four in that wall behind the drywall. I was able to cheat. Okay. Each screw carries about 80 pounds. So I've got my beams laminated together here. They're just two by fours, it's not really a beam. <laughs> so I got four screws holding them together. I got two screws up here, one on each end. So if I built this right, it should carry my weight. Yep. So we built this more structural. I mean, it, you could hang a jolly jumper or something on this, no problem. But all we're gonna carry is the weight of ultralight drywall. So this will last a thousand years. So here we are, we're using that DeWalt laser to connect the dots. What I've done is I've measured off my steel beam. Um, the same measurement here in the other end of the room. And I put a mark on the ceiling and I put a mark on the wall. So this laser, self-leveling, and I just move it around until I connect the line up there with the dot on the wall, the other end. Beautiful. Now, now I've got a laser line all across my room. 
So all I have to do is transfer that information from the red line onto the ceiling. So I just use the ladder, and everywhere my red line hits the wood, I make a black mark. There we go. And this will represent my two by four will be here, and then my bulkhead will be about here. What I'm using is I'm using a two by four, which is never perfectly straight. Um, you could use metal if you felt so inclined. But I'm offsetting my 7 16 plywood that I pre-cut at the hardware store today. They have a great saw that cuts it all exactly the same. So every one of these is exactly 9 and 3 quarters, which is the same depth as the bottom of my steel beam. So once I've built this box, I can actually run my track across wood to steel to wood again, and that'll support all the way to my bulkhead. So we're just going to use drywall screws to connect all this. Again, we're not hanging anything off of this bulkhead except for the drywall. So we don't need a whole lot of strength going on. But we'll put a screw every 12 to 16 inches just for posterity. Now one of the benefits of working in these new homes is you can see that the floor joist package is actually uh, it's an engineered lumber. So again, it's like an Aspenite capped with two by threes, lots of adhesive. And when they put those packages down from steel to an exterior wall, it is really flat. We don't have a lot of movement on there like it's a traditional house that's all done in wood because the crown is up and down and all over the place. Here is nice and flat, so we really have an advantage. So because I'm working alone, I'm gonna put a screw in about the middle and I'm gonna start There we go. I'm gonna start hanging my bulkhead in the middle of the room. It's a lot easier for me to add on once I have the first piece up. So I take my screw and I'm just looking for the joist line. X marks the spot. I'll use a ladder. Okay. So my goal here is basically to line this up. You'll see, here's my laser line right on the edge of my wood. And so I'm going to just get this screw in first. I'm not going to tighten it up too much yet. So now I'm going to get this over here, get it right on the laser line. Boom. Oh. <laughs> okay, so now I've got it up on my laser mark. I'm going to go right here. Screw that one in there. Okay. I can throw in the rest of my screws. You can pre-assemble the bulkhead like before, or you can just take any two by four, start a screw in the middle, put it up on your laser line. Now, because I'm overlapping, my two by fours don't have to be in touch with each other. It's not necessary because my laser line already tells me what's straight. Here we go. So now I don't have to connect my dots with my lumber because my plywood is going to be doing that for me. So I just want to get this on my laser line mark. So I just want to check each end of the two by four, make sure that it's in the right spot. And we're good. Right there. Make sure there's nothing above it, wiring or plumbing, before you drive a screw. That's a mistake you'll only make once. Okay, if you put all your 2 by 4s up first, then you can come back with the plywood and hang your plywood. Preset your screw. 2 by 4 is an inch and a half, so you've got lots of room to play here. Connect all your dots here. That's not going anywhere. So once you got all your plywood screwed on, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be just screwing this wood to the bottom edge of the plywood, okay, with the screws, all down the run. And then we have a mounting surface for our track. Now, we're just using a metal track 
Um, it's got a shape to it, so it'll carry a lot of weight. Run it across to the other side of the room, and then we have something to screw a drywall to. But that is the basics of how to build a bulkhead. If you're enjoying these videos, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, but most importantly, comment on the videos by all means, or a suggestion of video you'd like to see, let us know. We'd love to be in touch.